180 bucks on this trimmer, then I got gas. Let it rip. So the month of May, we made $217.53. Month of June, we made $174.65. $392, it's pretty good. And in the past, I've been doing giveaways, and those are fun, those are cool, but it sucks because only one person gets to enjoy the giveaway. And I was thinking to myself, what can I do to have more people enjoy this money? And then bam, it hit me. I just, I said to myself, working on trails, building things for the trails, that's a way I can help out, you know, or give back and as a thank you guys for watching the content. I dropped 180 bucks on this trimmer on OfferUp. I was gonna buy it new, but there wasn't anywhere near me where I had them in stock. And then I just spent 60 bucks at Home Depot on these, on these things. I don't think I'll need this trimmer line just because the trimmer already has some. I'm just bringing it just in case the one that it has isn't strong enough or isn't good enough and then I got gas for the, the machine. And I'm married to this game, like I'm, I'm gonna be a mountain biker to the day I die so I saw this as an investment to help out, you know, get all the, the trails kind of cleared out. So little by little I'll, I'll probably be using the YouTube money to build features, to do things, to buy equipment, just try to make it so that everybody can enjoy it more. This is the setup right here. Not the most comfortable, but it works. I got no gear on, no helmet, just because I'm not gonna be riding. So the main trail that I'm, I'm gonna be working on today is right after Jump Line. I don't know the name of this trail. I'm sure someone's told it to me before, but I just forgot. But I rode it last time I was here. I love it so much that I don't want to see it, you know, disappear or become overgrown. So I'm going to try to do as much work as I can on it. So this is the start of the trail. It actually does have a name. It's just covered by the shrubs. Turn it on and then let it rip. <laughs> how this thing runs man i'm not trying to go crazy bare bone i just want to get it probably like ankle height because i think if it's ankle height if you're standing on your bike you'll you'll definitely be able to see above that you know it's stuff like this where it gets difficult to see I'm just gonna leave everything right there because it's not really in the way. You're jumping over this entire thing. So it's just gonna slowly rot into the ground or decompose. As I'm cutting, I'm just trying to visualize how I would feel coming down this trail. Cause I don't want to cut more than I have to. It's just gonna waste time. So I'm just coming down and just eyeballing it. As I make this turn, can I see ahead? You know, do I need to cut more here or more there? It's almost like you're giving a haircut to the trail. I mean, that's what it feels like. You know, you're just taking off a little bit to where it looks and feels good. In the way. 
ahí. I'm gonna leave my bike there. I don't think anybody will take it. Fingers crossed. Um, but this is the section we just cleared up. That tool was such a great investment. It's way more powerful than electric and it lasts longer than electric. Dude, look at how bad this bridge is. Not badly built, but just badly overgrown. I skipped this feature last time I rode this trail because let me show you. Well, you could probably see in the video, but the run up right here, I mean, you can't even see the bridge at this point. And you want to stay more to the left, but the left, you got all these shrubs and the trees. Not to mention the, the bridge is fully covered. We're going to get this dialed. I got a handsaw. I'm satisfied with that. I can go home happy. This thing is cleared. Check it out. Boom, and then you have room to gap it. Well, that is a wrap for today's trim session. I left my bike higher up, hopefully. It's still there. But well, we're gonna hike up with the, with the gear and then trek back to the car. This is how I have my big camera strapped up. I didn't show you guys earlier because I was recording with it early. The camera's on that side and then the trimmer's on this side. Honestly, stoked. I was able to get out there and do a little bit of work on that trail. I guess it's called DIA or DIA. I had never seen that sign until today because I'm always flying past it. And I think when you fly past it, it's covered with so much stuff that you don't really notice it. I've never used a machine like that before. This is my first time. I've used like an electric lawnmower, but never a uh, gas powered like trimmer. And it was pretty dumb of me, but I brought the gas with me because I was scared it was going to run out. Next time what I think I'll do, if I need gas, I'll just fill up like a little canister instead of taking that big old thing so that way it's less weight but i didn't have anything with me uh on this you know session so i just decided to take the whole thing but that was unnecessary weight that i had with me but little by little i'll inform myself on these tools and like how to maintain them uh service them you know what 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 i should be doing and what i should not be doing but if you guys have any tips or suggestions of what i should do for like storage and maintenance I'm, I'll, I'm all ears. But I'm really stoked with the, the trimmer that I got. I was doing a bit of research and this brand, I forget the, the, the model. I know it's Echo, but I don't know the model. And they were saying it's a pretty 
decent trimmer. I was thinking about going with a Ryobi or a Craftsman trimmer, which are a little cheaper, but then I was thinking, dude, I'm gonna keep this thing. I want it to last, I want it to take a beating. So I just decided to spend a little bit more money and get something a, a bit better. This is the first of many tools that I'll be adding to you know, my tool bag or my, my collection of tools, at least for trail maintenance or trail building. I was always taught to give more than I get. And that's what I really wanna do with this channel. I just wanna reinvest the money in, in some way so that you know the mountain biking community can enjoy it. Me personally, the, the thing I see as valuable is having a big community of you guys you know watching my stuff commenting like it's just basically having a bunch of friends that are obsessed over mountain biking like me and that to me is really cool because I get messages from you guys like tips or things I should look into or just helpful things right and yeah the money's cool but I kind of like the idea of spending it on the trails now I just gotta go get changed and get this day going. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you on the next video.